So let's quickly go back over this because I, I didn't cover it properly before. But I've mentioned previously that Elon Musk had a very weird stance when it came to working from home. And his stance was that it was morally wrong to work from home, which I feel like if you're Elon Musk, you can't be talking about morality, especially when it comes to working from home, considering the amount of morally, morally objectionable things that his companies do in order to make money. You just can't say that. But I understand where he's coming from. So now that I've got some experience working under the whole new working from working from home sort of model for the last, what, two and a half years, basically, I've been doing it um, in some way, shape or form. This current place I'm at now, I'm required to go into the office like once or twice a week for like meetings or whatnot or catch ups and stuff or reviews if needed be. And that's it. And most of the time I'm working from home. So. I can kind of see it from both sides. And I'm also, I'm a, I'm a person who before the pandemic and when I was kind of, you know, really into startups and stuff and I'd read loads of fucking startup books and entrepreneurial books and shit. And I was really into that whole Silicon Valley tech scene. I was somebody that was really kind of preaching the fucking, the, the benefits of like startup of like, sorry, working from home. I was kind of on that whole bullshit jobs um, rhetoric as well. Big um, RIP to the author of that book and kind of espousing those thoughts. But now time has gone by and I've sort of like you know been working under this floor a little bit i can now understand why some employees or some employers sorry would rather you come and work in the office and also understand why some people prefer to work in an office too or work at an actual place instead of doing all your work from your bed and shit um i can get two sides of it so more importantly let's talk about elon musk and what he had to say about it and him thinking working from is morally objectional this is a quote take this is a video clip taken from cnbc I'm a big believer that, 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 that people need to are more productive when they're in person. Look, there are some exceptions, but I, I kind of think that, that the whole notion of work from home is, is a bit like the, you know, the, the, the fake Marie Antoinette quote, let them eat cake. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's, like, it's like, really, you're going to work from home and you're going to make everyone else who made your car come work, to the fact, work in the factory? You're going to make the people who make your food that gets delivered, that they can't work from home? The, you know, the, the, the people that, that come fix your house, they, they can't work from home, but you can? Does that seem morally right? That's messed up. You see it as a moral issue? Yes. I mean, I see it more as and just it's, a, it's, a, a, it's, a, a... It's a productivity issue, but yeah. it's also a moral issue. People should get off the goddamn uh, moral high horse with the work from home bullshit. Um, because they're asking everyone else to not work from home while they do. The, the laptop class is living in La La Land. So I think in this case, Elon Musk's issue is more so the underlying issue is that he hates the laptop class. He hates leftists, especially the ones who were in charge of Twitter beforehand. That's why when he came on board and he bought Twitter, the first thing that he did was do the complete opposite of what they've done. So they had an over bloated um, workforce of like thousands of people that they didn't need to have to run the, 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 the company. He got rid of most of them, especially if their politics didn't align or their worldviews didn't align. And one of the kind of like fundamental parts of it was this idea of working from home. Like I think at the time they've still got this big building somewhere in San Francisco that's incredibly large, but they also had this policy of working from home permanently. I think Jack Dorsey was one of the first sort of like big tech founders at the time who implemented working from home across the board. So it kind of made the whole point of having such a massive uh, building block um, of an office kind of redundant if everyone's working from home and of course there's also the question of productivity i feel like if you come from it from the point of view if you're an owner if you're a founder and a ceo whatever it may be and you come from the point of productivity i think you have a point in some cases but it's a double-edged sword i found with myself i can work way better or i get more done when i'm in the office because i know i'm around people so i'm, I'm more accountable to my time and what i'm doing so I'm not going to be spending a lot of time, you know, fucking around on my phone, checking out shit on websites and stuff. I'm going to be just focusing on the work. So I'll get it done in a quicker amount of time. So I'll get in the office at nine and I can have all my tasks done. Everything I need to do in the day by 12 p.m., right? But that also isn't a good way to work because it kind of then leads you with the rest of the time left before you go home, just kind of twiddling your thumbs. Even if you try and find work to do, there's not a lot to do once you've done your overall basic task. So sometimes you have to spread it out a bit so that you can get more stuff done across the day. But then I also realize sometimes you can spend a lot more time on deep work, like working actually um, for like extended periods of time when you're at home alone. You can't do that when you're in the office. And it's even more so, I felt like I've seen the kind of double-edged sword of it because what's happened now in my workplace is that because we all work from home, 
but we all sometimes have to come in for one day a week or sometimes one day a month. When we do come in at work for that one day, we're all so happy to see each other. We can't shut the fuck up. <laughs> we can't shut the fuck up because we haven't seen each other for like a week or for a, or, or for several months, whatever it may be. So we're all catching up on shit or whatever it may be once we're in the office. So there's not a lot of time to sit there with deep work. Everyone's always kind of slacking you this funny thing, coming over just to ask you this thing, but then also talking about that thing. It's always a conversation happening. There's never really a moment of pure silence across the, across the office. Always somebody's talking and speaking, whatever it may be. So I can understand both sides of it. But the other thing I think of it going forward long term, if I had to choose, I could probably choose a hybrid. I think there's a time in my life where I went to work 100% work from home, but now I wouldn't mind a hybrid. I'm okay with the idea of like working one or twice a day during, you know, the week at work because I feel like it gives me an excuse to get out of the house when I'm not running or training. Um, I can go to commute. You can take some, you know, what's the thing called? You can take some... Um, you could take some pre-prepared food with you in terms of meal prep. That's always nice as well. Maybe having drinks after work with your work colleagues is also great for bonding and all that malarkey and getting work done. And sometimes if you, especially if you're doing like work projects or collaborations or working with other teams, being in front of them face-to-face, -face, clarifying certain things can get done way quicker than email or Slack can be done. All those things can improve greatly by just been talking to people. But the idea that it's morally unacceptable is crazy but like i said i feel like he's talking more to the laptop class coastal elite type people who basically some of them do have a little bit of a superiority complex they do actually think they're better than the, their delivery people they probably do think they're better than the people that tend their gardens or that repair their homes i'm pretty sure they do or they just think they're better than people because they get to walk around the office with a fucking laptop around their hand or go to the coffee shop browsing and shit while they're offering their latte i'm pretty sure that's the case but i think for the majority of people that isn't and the other side of things that doesn't get spoke about is if you're working on a low income like if you're working on a job that's already low uh no that pays shitty right like the roles that i've had before working as fuck working in marketing where you're like a marketing assistant or you're doing social media shit those things usually don't pay that great so if they don't pay that great you're spending a lot of money if you're going to the office day to day just going to work so my travel card will be crazy amounts of money that's why usually most of the time i'll be taking the bus or i'll be cycling or sometimes if you're really broke you'll be jumping the gates and shit and um nowadays if you can work those jobs but then you have to spend a thousand pound or whatever it may be or 500 on travel that's actually a good thing because it means that you can actually pursue a career that you're actually passionate about um even though it doesn't make you much money because you're saving money on the travel so then you can, you know, go for it and then, you know, slog away from a year or two in as an entry level, earning 20k per year, but then eventually get into a point where you maybe can apply for other things or get promoted or whatever it may be to make more money. So it gives you opportunity to kind of be a bit more flexible with your career. And then again, of course, if you're working from home, you also have the ability to apply for jobs that are maybe outside of your purview because the headquarters are based not near where you live so you can apply for places outside of london outside of the uk eventually that might lead to you moving to these countries or these places all those things are amazing and that's all comes as a requisite or as a kind of byproduct of working from home and i feel like to end it overall it's good as in culturally in the workspace it's become an acceptable thing to do in some cases because i feel like beforehand it was a privilege only reserved for the higher ups if you were middle if you were upper management or mid-level and above that's the only time you could work from home and it was always done on a kind of hush hushy don't ask any questions basis but if you were a lowly assistant like i was you had no possibility of working from us so sometimes i'd work in offices where you turn up on the friday or the thursday and there'd be hardly anybody there and then everyone's like slacking in or making it known in the group pages. Oh, I'm working from home today because I've got a meeting because my kid is this, because my dog is this. And you're like, what the fuck? Why do I have to come in on the fucking Friday? But you guys don't. So now I feel like because we're all in an equal living, equal playing field, it makes it far more fair personally for me. But I also understand if you're an owner and an operator and a founder like Elon, um, you probably do prefer to have people in the office just because you feel like they do work way harder when they're in the office as opposed to working at home. Fair enough, fair enough.